he has horses and look how stunning that horse is you guys <laughs> What is up you guys? Ooh, ooh, let me let me go ahead and fix that. Okay, let's motherfucking redo it. Hola familia Metiche! What is up you guys? Welcome back to my motherfucking canal. ¿Cómo están pendejas? Espero que se les estén pasando rete bien porque si no ya saben que aquí está este payaso de circo para entretenerlas. What is up you guys? ¿Cómo estás pinche pendeja? Vete a la verga, pinche pendeja, mamá verga, pinche pendeja. Ea, ea, ea. Oh my god, ya tengo tiempo que no cantaba mi pinche himno nacional. Hasta ustedes se sorprendieron, ¿verdad? You guys were like, ¡Oh! lo está cantando, lo está cantando. Pues saben qué pendejas, hoy estoy de buenas. Y cuando yo estoy de buenas, me gusta hacer cosas que a ustedes les gusta, you know? Como pueden ver, me estoy, estoy arreglado. And I am in my typical Alanized outfit, which is todo de negro, porque el de negro me lo quebro. And right now, Irma's actually on her way from work because she's gonna take me i have a video shoot today with rob the original and the owner of culichi town if you guys don't know what culichi town is bitch it is patrick story we was abajo de una pinche roca porque culichi town is one of my favorite restaurants you guys and him and um rob the original um started their own little cooking show and they wanted me to be a guest star mood star ya me creo bien celebridad they wanted me to be a guest <laughs> Just guest, not star, on their um, little show. So I'm gonna go today, you guys, and we are making ceviche for you guys in the video. Rob was telling me like, hey, we can make whatever the fuck you want, pero se acuerdan que yo estoy un poquito dieta, and I can't really just eat whatever the fuck I want, and I felt like ceviche is something on the safer side that I can possibly eat when I'm on my diet. And I think it's really cool because um, Ismael, I think that's his name, I could be wrong, but I'll correct myself later. Ismael, the owner of Culichi, Town has a lot of ceviche recipes so we're gonna teach you guys how to make ceviche I'm so excited um, we are going to the rancho I think I looked it up right now you guys and it's like a good 30 minute drive nothing too crazy so it should be fun I'm gonna bring you guys along ya ver que pedo por fin vamos a hacer algo fuera de lo normal so I get excited when I film these type of videos because it's not the usual day you know what I mean so yeah so Irma is here um, it is a 34 minute drive, which honestly isn't that bad. You know where it's kind of at, you guys? It's kind of, um, you guys know me. I love going to Diablo Micheladas. It's kind of by there, and there's a lot of traffic right now on the 91. I don't know if you guys can see todo el pinche tráfico está pa la verga. But we're taking the little shortcut, which usually this shortcut is really packed because everyone tries to take the shortcut, but it just becomes the same shit. But today it's very empty, so. We're lucky. Bye, bitches. Moody can't even see all the traffic though, but look at all the traffic. It's kind of, it's kind of not that bad though. Nah. But at those moments, it picks up like over Yeah, there. it's like traffic hour right now, you guys. It is about to be, it's already three, right? Yes, yeah, about to be. It's three. about to be three, so traffic hour on the 91 usually picks up around that time because everybody's getting out of work. 20 minutes later. So over here, it's like all rancho vibes, like legit like rancho i think we're like a minute away you guys so these are the vibes you know what's so funny it's probably like two minutes away from like diablo's michelada which is kind of crazy because i'm like fuck if i was on a diet i would have gone but priorities ladies priorities like do you want to be do i want to be fat or skin tea i'll be skin tea but wow it's kind of cute no it reminds me of like mexico, mexico. Right? Mexico for sure. Very. Going down into the little... Very, windows. very much that. They made some little... What is this? Like a... I think it looks like... It's just like a... I don't know what you will call it. Uh, uh, maybe a ca campechana? Mood? I think it's, it's super bomb. It has it looks bomb. everything. It has um, some octopus. I'm here with Rob, you guys. He was just checking out my hair right now, you guys. He's like, what can I draw on you? And I'm like... I get scared, no, but you guys, if you guys haven't seen his work, his work is so fucking dope. Like, he be drawing shit with saw, he be, he be doing the most. The most. But it, it's bomb, like, it's like, the cool most. I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Okay, I'm trying to... 
I'm gonna get a little shrimp, you guys, because big shrimp kind of grosses me out. Let me throw my gum. I'm gonna try it, you guys. Mm. Wow. Wow. He has horses, and look how stunning that horse is, you guys. I'm zooming it in, you guys. Um, but that one's so stunning. Like the way it walks, the way it just like does its own thing. It's so fucking beautiful. Here they're setting up, you guys. Um, everybody getting ready to film. The sun is pretty bright, so I don't know if we're waiting for like the sun to go down, but I'm excited. I was wearing my mask, you guys, but I take it off because we're about to start filming. But Irma and everybody, Irma and the crew, everybody is masked on and ready to go, you know? Oh my god, it's sparkling really cute. Good. And it's not the Kira Kira event, uh, effect. <laughs> I'm getting closer. Look at that. Moo. Is that like what they call the dancing hall? Yeah. Que está yeah. That's beautiful. So guys, he he, I go hide. Alan's about to film. The sun's like hitting my face and shit. So he's about to film with them and stuff. Um, there's bees around me. But yeah, I like pretty. I like so pretty. But it's too flat. They're putting the haystack to cover the things that are behind us. And it gives it very much like very rancho vibes. Looks very cute. Mood Irma being my assistant. Mood her thinking she got money with my bag. Mood! <laughs> Bitch, there's money in there. Let's close it. finish up in a little bit at sunset though right now they're just cutting through the ingredients and stuff um I'm just trying to basically get to the end until they try all the ceviches because they're basically making ceviche right now i literally had to go to the car and get alan's um, fucking tostadas because um he was about to eat the original one um which he took about it so, so oh well but i brought him his baked one so we literally is going to be eating those no breaking the dieta today and then for the beer um what we've been doing is i've been actually drinking it and he just like puts it against his mouth pretending that he drinks it you know what i mean because he hates beer in general so yeah it's really funny but apart from that yeah we're just getting that started i lunch face on the tostada which is kind of cool but yeah so yeah i know i'm boring You guys, so they drew Alan with the salsa and shit, and they just finished, and I'm about to show you guys. So fucking cool. This is, this is all fucking hot sauce. It looks so huh? Mm, that's fucking sick, bro. What the heck? You guys. I'm like, can I take it home? Come on, is this? You're very wow. That's cool, you guys. Look at that. That looks dope. 
No se les olvide, you guys. Um, I don't know when it's gonna come out, pero cuando salga este episodio, yo les voy a dejar saber. Aquí estamos con Misael y con Rob. No se les olvide to tune in to Visteando y Cocinando en Instagram. Ahí pueden ver, ahí tenemos el link para YouTube. Por favor, vayan a subscribe porque tenemos a muchos invitados especiales. Ahí los voy a poner down in the link down below, you guys. We did a bunch of ceviches. Quiero enseñarles lo que me hicieron tratar, you guys. Me trajeron a tortura, torturarme. Mood. But, you know, we tried normal ceviche and then we got um, callo, pulpo. And tuna, kind of fucking funky, but you guys should go check out my um, their video when it comes out. Para que miren the finished result, you guys, because it was dope. La fogata, miren. Que no falte la fogata en el rancho. Move me a better burn my hand. <laughs> métela, métela. This looks dope, though. I had a good time, you guys. The episode's gonna be really cool. Um, it's something new for me because I normally, well, I normally have the cooking, uh, my mom's cooking show, the Cocinando con Martita, but I feel like this was very production, like this was like four cameras, this is what Cocinando con Martita should be, you know what I mean, which, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, maybe that's what it should be, it looks really dope, um, really, really cool, you guys, shout out to them. So, we are almost done, as you can see back there, they're basically taking the thumbnail real quick. So, we are leaving, um, I think they're filming an episode with El Fantasma, which is another, which is a singer. So, they're having, like, good people, I already know, Jaylene's gonna be in it, um, a bunch of, like, celebrities, too, that are gonna be on the show. But, Misael, for those of you guys that don't know, he is the owner of Culichi Town, as you guys can see, there's a Culichi Town little car, um, but he's also the owner of Mama Por Dios. So it's really dope atmosphere. They wanted me to stay and kind of just like eat with them and stuff, but honestly, you guys, I can't. So, so, update where I'm at. I'm actually on my way to Walmart um, because today the Lady Gaga Galletas came out, the Oreo collab. Um, give me my face mask. Um, and Danny um, has been wanting them. Oh, I give them to you. Danny has been wanting, you have my bag too, huh? Danny has been wanting the galletas, so he went to go get them after work and they didn't have them. Mm -hmm. He already pre-ordered some, but he just wants to, uh, he's very like impatient. He already wants to have them like in his hands. It's not like he could fucking even eat them, what the fuck? Yeah, but he just <laughs> wants to have it, you know? I know. I feel him. The fandom kind of thing, bitch. I was a directioner. So uh -huh. I get where he is coming from. So we just came to like a random Walmart that's by here. Um, to see if they have a mi pues si no se chingo Dani. I see the galletas here. Lady Gaga. Oh no. Oh, that's gluten free. Oh, these are. It's not these, you guys. These are like the. It's a competition, Lady Gaga. The mood. I was going through the fucking stuff like. Where is the Gaga? You guys, where do they have them? Um, double stuffed. Okay, those are party size. This is a party size. That's cool though. Party size fit. It's cool that they have even like a gluten free. True. I didn't know they had that. That's what's up. Oreos coming out from fucking games. Oreos has been coming out with like carrot cake. <gasps> Bitch, they don't have them. So we had no luck. I'm trying to like still look, you guys, because like sometimes like they might put them somewhere else. But no, they don't have them. So we're just gonna go back home. Um, it was like a quick little stop. Nothing crazy. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Espero que les haya gustado. Don't forget to go to the Pisteando y Cocinando YouTube channel and subscribe because um, that's where we're going to upload the episode. I don't know when it's going live. I think it's going up next week, but I'm so excited for you guys to see it. My reaction to trying all those crazy um, ceviches. But yeah, you guys, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and suck dick, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.